we've all had those friends who come and complain about the relationship that they're in. And then it's like, you know, and, and they're saying things like, but I've put so much time into it, right? Like we can just go back, right back to sunk costs, right? I've put so much time and effort into it. And I don't want that all to be for naught. And then a year later, they're still in the relationship and you're, you're just, it's rinse and repeat and it can go on, you know, now they waste five more years of their life, not happy because they're trying to protect the time they already put in. So if you can get someone to stop and say, okay, I understand that you're unhappy and I also understand you're not going to break up with the person today, but how long are you okay with this? Like you have to set a deadline. I mean, I think this is really important to have some sort of deadline. How long are you okay with it? Okay, well, I can do this for six more months. Okay, so in six months, what is it that you're going to see that's going to tell you that this has turned around? What is it that you're going to see that is going to tell you that it hasn't? And what would be the inputs to get you to a good version of the future? That might be like counseling, for example, right? And then once you've done that, now notice I'm not saying here, here are the inputs. They're saying that. I'm not, I'm not saying you should only be okay with this for six months. They're saying it. I'm not saying... I'm going to give you a list of the things that would tell you this isn't work out anymore. They're generating that for themselves. So all it's doing is basically taking that that intuition from Barry Starr, right, that he sort of blew up. We think that when we see the signals that we're going to react to them, it's saying, okay, we now know we're not going to react to them well if we're trying to deal with it in the moment when we're in it, when we're in the midst of the decision. But if we can identify those signals in advance, then maybe we can do that, particularly if we have someone who we're we're accountable to, someone who's helping us to think through the problem, somebody who's coaching us through to help us get to the ability to set a good deadline, to be able to think through what those kill criteria are, and they're going to hold us accountable to it, right? So like, let's take the simplest sense of a kill criteria, turnaround time on Mount Everest. So here's what we know about these kill criteria. They're not going to be perfect because only three people turned around that day. But you know what? That's a lot more than zero. If that's way more than zero, I'm going to take those three. And if you think about like your life is sort of a compounding of, you know, a little bit better decisions that are compounding on themselves. If you have an employee who's underperforming, if it takes you three months instead of six months to exit them. Think about the effect, the positive effect that's going to have on your business over time. Are you going to exit them at the exact right moment? No, they're going to, you know, if I know you should exit them today, is the person that I'm working with going to exit them three months longer than I as an outside observer would have them do it? Sure. But it's going to be six months before they are, you know, otherwise would if I weren't doing that and I have buy-in from them. It's their decision then. So they, they're not going to come back to me and say, well, you told me to fire them because I'm going to say, no, I didn't. You said you were unhappy and we set a deadline together. And then you talked about objectively speaking what the signals were going to be that would tell you that you ought to leave. So I just helped you through that decision. And so it's just like it creates no conflict. It makes it much more likely that the person's going to follow through on it. And I think we look, Daniel Kahneman was the one who said to me, uh, I think everybody needs a quitting coach. And that guy literally wrote the book on cognitive errors. So I'm going to go with if that guy needs a quitting coach, I need one too.